The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPUB, Namdi Kano, has announced that the fight to bring Biafra into reality cannot be subdued. Kano, in a tweet posted by his legal counsel, Aloy Ejimako, on Tuesday said, Biafra is non-negotiable. Ejimako tweeted, personal message from Mazi Namdi Kano, I deeply appreciate the abiding solidarity of the people of Biafra and the entire IPOB noble family against my continued illegal detention. Recall that Namdi Kano was apprehended by a Operatives of the Department of State Services DSS in the year 2021. He was charged with reasonable felony, managing an unlawful society, publication of defamatory matter, among others. The Coalition of Odua Self-Determination Groups has appealed to Nigerians to support the subsidy removal by President Bola Tinubu, saying that he took the right decision. The leader of the group, Mr. Razak Olokoba, was speaking in a joint press conference held at the airport hotel Ikeja, Lagos State, on Tuesday, June 6, 2023, said Nigeria cannot continue to budget trillions of naira on full subsidy alone. Olokoba stressed that Nigeria's economy depends 90% on petroleum exports for its revenue and one-third of its gross domestic product has been zero revenue from the sector. Other than that, Nubu said he inherited the assets and liabilities of the last regime. Nigeria currently owes massive local and foreign debt to the tune of 71 trillion naira. The group's leader maintained that if the subsidy is not killed, it will kill Nigerians while explaining that since the year 2000, when the Nigerian government gave 20 refinery licenses to private companies, other than that none was built apart from Dangote's recently inaugurated. Olokoba further encouraged competition in the oil sector, noting that it will bring about lower prices. <laughs> 